guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to make a chocolate banana milkshake. So let's go on and start with the first ingredient. The first ingredient, we are going to add one banana. The more ripe, the better, because it makes it sweeter. So I broke that up into seven pieces. And the next ingredient is chocolate powder. You can add any chocolate powder. I'm gonna add this Spanish chocolate powder called Colacao. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of that. After that, I am going to add this powdered peanut butter. And if you guys don't have this powdered peanut butter, you can also add the creamy peanut butter since they both taste the same. And I am going to add another tablespoon of that. Now this is optional whether you like coffee or not, but I am going to add one teaspoon of coffee. If you like coffee, you can add one teaspoon. And if you like coffee, but just like a little bit of just a little flavor, then I recommend if you add one half teaspoon or one fourth, but if you want to actually taste the coffee, then I'd recommend one teaspoon. Now I'm going to Now I'm going to add 1 fourth teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, which this is optional as well, but I like the taste of vanilla. But if you don't like vanilla, then no problem. You don't have to add vanilla flavoring. And you can add coconut flavoring as well. You can do whatever you want. And I'm as well gonna do 1 fourth teaspoon of sweetener, or you just put a little bit of sugar, and that's because I put because this is already really sweet, so if you want to add sugar, just add really little amount. Especially if stevia, because stevia tastes sweeter than actual sugar. Alright, well those are all the ingredients. Oh no, not all the ingredients. These are all the... Uh, now I have to add the milk, but these are all the ingredients except the milk, so I'm going to put the milk. Before you add the milk, if you guys have it or if you guys like your smoothie to be thick, I recommend if you add chantam gum or any thickener that you guys have as well as yogurt, which is good too. And I'm going to start by adding 15 ounces of milk. And then I'm gonna shake it and see how, how it gets from there. And then if it needs more, then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I added 15 ounces of milk and now I'm going to blend it up. <laughs> guys, for me, in my opinion, 15 ounces of milk was just the right amount. Now you guys, if you want it more liquidy, you can add more milk. If you want it less liquidy, you can add more milk, but I recommend 15 ounces. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and on to the next video.